10 best coaches in college football for the 2023 season. Welcome to Nick 7 Junior Sports Talk TV. Thank y'all for tuning in. Please like and subscribe to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, please subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell. And thank y'all for tuning in. So today's video will be best coaches in college football for the 2023 season. And for 10, I have two. So I'm starting at 10 to 1. My number 10 is Josh Heupel slash Sony Dykes. You just got to be real. Got to give it up to Tennessee program for what they did last season. And ever since Josh Heupel been up, uh, been at Tennessee, the program has been trending upwards. And I think they're going to continue to trend upwards. They're recruiting big-time players. They just got a big-time quarterback, number one quarterback in the country, I think. Then with Sony Dykes, you cannot dismiss the fact that he took a TCU program after his first year there to the national championship. Now they got blowed out, but, hey, they, they, they played well this season. And so I got – Sonny Dykes, Josh Hypo, and Sonny Dykes at 10. At number nine, I have Lou Fickle, Wisconsin. This will be his first year at Wisconsin, but, hey, I'm basing this off of how he turned the Cincinnati program around. That dude was good at Cincinnati. He, 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 he worked with what he had. He made the best of what he had, and – uh, he got he got Cincinnati to the play college football playoffs just a year ago. Got beat by uh Alabama, but hey, Lou Fickle, he has turned that Cincinnati program around, and I'm expecting him to go to Wisconsin and make an immediate impact at Wisconsin. So we'll see how that thing work out. So at nine, at ten, Josh Hyper, Sonny Dykes, nine, Luke Fickle. And number eight, I have Kyle Whittingham for the Utah Utes. The Utes. Hey, they won the Pac-12 last season. Hey, that program been, it been steady for a couple of seasons now. Been steady for a couple of seasons. Kyle Whittingham is doing his thing over there. He's doing his thing. This year, can they continue to trend upward? We don't know. We'll see. But I'm giving him his props. And number eight, I have him as... Kyle Winningham is one of uh one of the best coaches in college football. Number seven, old Lincoln Riley. Old Lincoln Riley came from Oklahoma, did his first season with USC. Dude's good. He can put an offense together. But can he hire the right people? Can he bring the right people in and put a defense with his offense? What the hell? What the hell does it matter if you can score all these points? But you can't stop. You can't stop nothing on defense. Get it together, uh, Lincoln Ryan. Get it together. But I have you at number seven. As one of the best coaches in college football because there's no denying what what you do for quarterbacks in the offense. There's no denying that. So seven, Lincoln Riley. Number six. Number six. I have good old Ryan Day. Ryan Day. It's a good dude, good coach. Can't doubt it, good coach. But my question is with Ryan Day, listen, you better get it together soon because Ohio State wants national championships. And I'm telling you, they start, they're starting to look at you funny now, Ryan Day. You win all these season games you want to. Then on top of that, you, you, lose, you lost to Michigan two years in a row. They're looking at you funny. But this season... This past season, in the all uh, playoffs, oh y'all played a hell of a game against Georgia. Y'all played a hell of a game against Georgia. So there's no denying what Ryan Day is doing for the Ohio State program. Number six, I have Ryan Day at number six, and number five, woo, Brian Kelly. There's no denying Brian Kelly. When he was at Notre Dame, he won. Came over to LSU. He won, beat Alabama his first year at Alabama at LSU. Hurt my heart. It hurt my heart so bad. But, hey, he got the job done. SEC Championship, 
Got Molly Watt versus Georgia. But, hey, you got to the SEC Championship your first year in the SEC. Congratulations. Congratulations. Can you continue to do the same thing? Can you continue to trend upward? Honestly, I think you will. That's why I have Brian Kelly at number five. There's no denying. Hey, he's a winning coach. He's a winning coach. Can't lie. At number four, I still got to give it to the man. Dabo Sweeney. Dabo Sweeney. Still got to give it to him. I know these last past couple years, uh, he been going through some issues there. You know what I'm saying? But I think Dabo know he, he know what he's doing. He just made a big splash, higher home run, higher on the offensive side of the ball for the offensive coordinator, Garrett Riley. Got them from TCU. I think he's trying to get back. He, I think he will get back to Clemson football. And there's no denying. He's a hell of a recruiter. Regardless, he been recruiting some dogs on defense. Just got Peter Woods over there to commit to Clemson. God dang it, I want him to come to Alabama bad. But, hey, we can't deny that by Swinney success. Regardless, we cannot deny it. We cannot deny it. That's why I have Dabba Swinney at number four. And number three, Big Blue, Go Blue, Jim Harbaugh at Michigan. Hey, he didn't beat Ohio State two years in a row. He didn't got to the college fo uh, football playoffs two years in a row. Lost both of them. But, hey, he's getting there. He's a dude. I didn't think he was going to be there. Because it looked like, he, to me, it seems like he wanted, he wants back in the NFL. And two seasons in a row, he has flirted with it. But after the first season, he flirted with it. He came back. Hey, got Michigan to the first college football playoffs. Got blown out against Georgia. And... Feel like he uh flirted with it again, but hey, he got to the uh, playoffs again. Got beat against TCU, but he got him there. So hey, what can Jumbo Harbaugh? Can he beat Ohio State three years in a row? Can he beat him three years in a row? I don't know. Question marks. But there's no denying that Jim Harbaugh. He, hey, he's one of the teams that has that display bully ball this year. So, Jim Harbaugh at number three. And then number two, we got my coach, Nick Saban, at number two with that. Uh, number two spot. Now, I get it. You asked me if I would have voted. Of course, he would have been number one, but I get it. Uh, we lost to Georgia in the national championship. Then we didn't get to the college football playoffs uh, this past season. We lost two games versus Tennessee to LSU. I get it. I get it. We are number two. But I'm telling you right now, Coach Saban will take his number one spot back. Y'all can keep doubting out there, college football world. Keep doubting. But my coach Nick Saban, my Nick Saban, Coach Nick Saban, will take the number one spot back. Well, best coaches in college football. And that's all I got to say. Y'all know what it is. We Alabama, baby. And at number one, at number one, we have Lane Kiffin. Ole Miss. No, I'm just playing. Number one, we got Kirby Smart. Hey, there's no denying. Kirby Smart has been a great coach these last past couple years. Ever since he got to Georgia, you can tell he has transformed Georgia into a college football powerhouse. Now, Georgia always had what it takes to be a powerhouse, but it took the right coach for Georgia to remain on top, to, to get on top. And there's no denying what Kirby Smart has been doing. These Georgia has been playing lights out football. Georgia look like the old Alabama. Just what it is. So, that's why Kirby Smart has the number one spot. And not to mention, back-to-back -back national championships in the college football play of playoff era. And Georgia will be pushing for a three-peat. And with the schedule they have set up, it's possibly that they could three-peat. Do I think they will three-peat? 
No. Why do I think they want three P? Because of my Alabama Crimson Tide gonna have something to say about that. But overall, there's no denying. There's no denying. Georgia is number one. Kirby Smart is number one. At the best coaches in college football this season. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about it. Let me know if y'all object to anything. Let me know if there's a coach that should that I left out that should have been in there and what number he should have been at. Just let me know. Like I said, this is all opinionated. I'm open to everybody's opinion. I want to know everybody's thoughts. Hey, if you're a uh, new viewer to the channel, hey, please subscribe to the channel. Share with everybody else. For everybody else, please like and subscribe to the channel. Roll tight, and I'm out.